expression is part of the examination of the Herefordshire Medical Plan and Core Strategy. I'm Christine Thorley, and I've been appointed Private Secretary of State to hold this examination and to make a report to Herefordshire Council. By way of introduction, I'm the Town Planner. I've been Plan Inspector for about 12 years. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with these events, I'm usually dressed as Madam Plan Inspector or Inspector. I have already read the evidence submitted by representatives and the Council. This means that in our discussion you need not repeat in detail your case or give any sort of formal presentation. We will go through the agenda and invite people to contribute to the discussion, but welcome any comments and questions from any of you as the discussion progresses. Please note that unless I specifically agree to it, there should be no cross-examination. But putting questions to to uh, opposing parties during the discussion may, may be acceptable. There are a lot of people speaking today and a lot of different matters, and so I hope you bear with us with the sort of rearranging of uh, tables and speakers, etc. Start across, I'd invite you to thank you. Madam, thank you. Um, first, first of all, I, um, on, on, on behalf of everyone who's been involved in the plan so far, can we thank you for the work that we've already carried out on the examination? Uh, and we, we hope that you have a fruitful three weeks with us at the hearing sessions. We are pleased that we have reached this important stage in the preparation of the plan. There is now a clear recognition that the saved development which dates back to 2007, is in urgent need of replacement. Plainly, it predates the introduction of the National Planning Policy Framework in 2012, and as such, its policies carry less weight than they once did. Linked to this, the SAFE plan is primarily a land use plan, in which it does not directly tackle the wide range of spatial issues now expected in new style local plans. I submit to you that our future planning function will be best served by the early adoption of the submitted plan. This approach will accord with paragraph 12 of the NPPF, which makes very clear the importance of having an up-to-date plan in place. The plan has taken longer to get to this stage than originally had been expected. That said, the time from the initial consultation stage in May 2007 to submission in September 2014 has allowed key aspects of work to be covered in far greater detail than would otherwise have been the case. Three areas stand out. The first is the extensive consultation process. Seven key stages have been undertaken and this process has both shaped the plan and generated significant levels of comment. The second area is the refinement that has been made to the plan in this time period. And policies RA1 and RA2, uh, which you will look at next week, are, are good examples of this process. The third area is that this extended time period has allowed detailed technical issues to be resolved, and I shall refer to some of these later in statement. The gestation of the plan itself has not prevented plan growth from taking place. The plan is far more than an ambitious plan for growth up to 2031. I contend that it is a realistic and well-founded set of guidelines that will allow the positive track record of recent years to continue. The various submitted matters papers have already set out a range of positive growth and development that has taken place since 2007, and I will not repeat them now other than to highlight two key developments that took place last year. The new retail scheme opened in May 2014 on the old livestock market site and represented the outcome of much detailed work. It has been well received both in terms of its use uh, and in terms of the quality of the scheme itself. You can get the opportunity, I would actively encourage you to see that uh, in the next three weeks. In addition, the compulsory purchase order uh, was also confirmed for the important city link road, uh, which is key to the delivery of policies HD1 and HD2 in the submitted plan. I have a few comments now on joint working. 
The plan is founded on a strong evidence base uh, and reflects close liaison with other organisations whose roles will be key to making it work. In this regard, it is a shared plan that has been both informed and which is actively owned by key statutory agencies. These arrangements have resulted in the submission of a number of statements of common ground, which include those with the Highways Agency, Natural England and Welsh Water. All these organisations have key roles to play and their involvement is at the heart of the plan and its sentence. In certain key areas, work has been undertaken directly by the agencies concerned and the work undertaken by the Environment Agency and Natural England on the integrity of the River Wye and the River Lud Sack is a classic example of this type of work. Uh, Madam, as well as working with, closely with statutory bodies, we have also worked closely with landowners and others who will ultimately be making the policies in the plan take shape. Significant work has been undertaken on the strategic housing sites. In some cases, detailed proposals will be submitted in the next few months and you will hear some of the details of these various schemes over the next three weeks. Madam, I would invite you to give significant weight to the work that has taken place on this important part of the plan. Its key growth elements are firmly based. The hearings will highlight a range of comments on the plan in general, but you will be invited to consider additional or alternative sites. Nonetheless, it is clear to me that the package of strategic growth included in the plan is the best, most realistic and practical that exists. It is also a package that reflects ongoing work and liability. Madam, in conclusion, we look forward to debating a wide range of issues with you and others over the next few weeks. As I mentioned earlier, consultation and engagement has helped significantly in the preparation of the plan. That said, I recognise that there are those who take a different view on its various elements, and the hearings will do much to resolve these issues one way or 